After picking up our camper van in Queenstown, we headed through to Haas for our first night's camp. This wee camper was a fantastic size for us um, and our Henry. So we just left the back of the camper as a bed for the entire trip, which worked really well. On our second day, we headed from Haas to Franz Josef stopping in at a few different places along the coastline, including Knights Point, Bruce Bay, and Lake Matheson. Instead of continuing north, we decided that we would hang around Franz Joseph for a couple of days. So on our third day, we headed out to the coast to a small mining town called Ocarito and did a bit of exploring out there. And then we headed back into Franz and did some walks around Franz Joseph area as well. We couldn't do much of the Franz Joseph Glacier walk because the river had washed away part of the track so this is as close as we managed to get. But we did go and do another short walk called Peter's Pool um, which is a wee kettle lake that was formed by the glacier. And then we stumbled across a walk in the back of the Franz Joseph town um, with old mining tunnels so we decided to go and check them out. It was a bit of a gnarly track heading up to the tunnels in the side of the hill um, walking along this gorge but it was a really cool track um, and a really nice walk through the native bush and the tunnels themselves this one was about 200 meters long um, and I think there's actually two tunnels which are linked by an aqueduct bridge but unfortunately we couldn't get past the end of this tunnel. It was blocked off because a support beam had broken um, on that aqueduct. But it was still a cool experience anyway just to go into these old tunnels. And it was definitely one of the highlights of our whole trip. Yeah. Maybe they got sick of building it so big. Oh, so you can't walk along there anymore? Mm. some kind of poo. What? <laughs> I said there's some kind of poo there. Oh, you reckon? Anyway, your review of the tunnel? Like I said, 10 out of 10. Get some wet feet. Feel good. Can't get out the other end at the moment, but hopefully they'll fix it. That would be cool if they could. We can go out the other side and 
I'd love to be able to see the water. Yeah. It's so teasing, you get to the end and you can't actually... And that's what the noise was. Oh yeah, the river raging down there. Yeah, through the gorge. Like it's not tight or gnarly at all. And there's glow worms. The walk-in's pretty cool as well. On day four, we started heading back south to Haast from Franz Josef. We stopped again at Lake Matheson because I really wanted to have a go at getting a photograph of the reflection on the lake with the mountains. The clouds were kind of working against me and there was ducks on the lake which was making the reflections hard, but I got some good shots and it was another beautiful day for a bushwalk.
So we found the goat track. So it's for canyoners. Why you would want a canyon down that stream, I have no idea. It looks deadly. But it's pretty epic. Oh my god. Matt just keeps going further. going in. Freezing. <laughs> oh yeah, she's cold. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. 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 Wow. And wow, it's cold. <laughs> 